Hey, wonderful person. We're back here again talking about narcissism. So let's get right into it. Narcissists and their birthdays. Why is this always a thing? If you have a narcissist in your life, you know that birthdays are going to be a thing. Whether they're off the charts, in behavior, bad behavior, not good behavior, bad behavior, or it's just going to be some weirdness. It's going to be something on their birthday. Almost always is. Now, if you, <laughs> before we get into all that stuff, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. It helps the channel out, helps get the message out. I like it. I am totally grateful if you subscribe to the channel. Um, this is my therapy. I hope it's your therapy too. We're just trying to live our best lives here, even though we've had narcissists in our lives. Or, God forbid, you have a narcissist in your life right now, right? <laughs> So, um, what is it about a narcissist's birthday? It's always a thing. So, the first thing you have to remember, narcissists are all about themselves. And this is a day that's supposed to be all about yourself. It's like Narcissist Day, right? Right out of the gate. This is the best day ever for a narcissist. It's all about people serving me and sucking up to me all day long. That's what's in their head. I don't care what they say. That's what's in their head. And that's what they're hoping for. Now, I just want to bookend this because some people are in narcissistic relationships and it gets a little fuzzy on what normal looks like. Normal people, normal situations, normal relationships, normal perspectives on a birthday, are us it's usually, you know... Whatever. It's the birthday. Some people feel good about the birthdays. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes people feel that they like the birthday because it gives them a chance to have free cake or something or get a few extra hellos and stuff. Some people don't like it at all because it reminds them they're getting older. And some people, they just, you know, that's, that's, not, that's not what adults should do. Uh, they should just go on with business. That's kid stuff. <laughs> Okay, uh, to each his own, right? Normal people, not for narcissists. Like I said, it's Narcissist Day, and it's go time. Okay, so <laughs> what are they going to do on their birthday? Well, first of all, if you have a year-long calendar, you can just and you're keeping track of the days where they are not well-behaved, badly behaved, you can just stamp that day right now as badly behaved because it's a, almost a guarantee they're going to be badly behaved on that time. Now, it sort of also has to do with the fact that narcissists are always give and take, love and hate, and so they have a lot of dysregulation as far as their relationships go, and relationships are not just about people. They're also about things, and they have this love-hate relationship with birthdays too. They also have a love-hate relationship with themselves and with everything else. So it's going to make it super complicated on what's going to go down on the birthday. Now, like I said, they're all about this day. Some of them plan it months in advance and it's like the biggest thing in their life. They're going to invite the world over to their birthday party and they're going to have this it's it's like did you see the Barbie movie where Barbie said, Oh, we're just gonna have the biggest bash and biggest blowout and the biggest this just like we do every day, no big deal. That's <laughs> that's what the some of the narcissists do. They have this big blowout on their birthday because it's so validating to them that even though all the awful violating that they did over the whole year Everybody kisses their behind on this one day, right? Why wouldn't the narcissists want this day? Why wouldn't they want it to be like that? Now, all of them want this, but not all of them go to that big uh, over-the-top sort of situation, but they all do want to be validated during this day, um, all of them. Even if they say, no, 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 no. I don't really want anything on my birthday. You don't have to get me anything. You know, we don't have to exchange or anything. So I said, no, I don't want anything for my birthday. And I realized that the narcissist 
kind of lies to themselves. They gaslight themselves. They gaslight you, but they also gaslight themselves too. So they're telling themselves, I'm humble and I'm a wonderful person because of it. Because I just told everybody I don't want anything for my birthday. Yeah, I'm fantastic. And it pumps them up, even though inside they feel like a hollow shell. So they do the same thing with you, and you're like, you're a normal person. You're like, I don't know. Said didn't want anything, so I guess this won't, we don't, I don't have to get anything. <laughs> now, I was of the case that this is probably BS. So I got a card anyway, and I figured, you know, doesn't want the card this time around. Might want it next year. Uh, oh, that was the cat laying on the on the foot of the light. That was not an earthquake. That was the cat. Cats always have to get in on a video. <laughs> They're a little narcissistic. Just a little. Uh, in a good way. In a good way. So, yeah. It's always going to be a thing. And I didn't get the narcissist a present. And I didn't offer a card. Because that's what the narcissist said. And the narcissist went crazy. Right? And I knew what I was going to say. I knew the argument. I said verbatim what they said and when they said it. I had it written down. And yeah, they don't care. They're like, I didn't mean any of that. You know, I didn't mean any of that. And then they have some put downs after that. Basically, you're an idiot. You didn't know what you're talking about. You were too dumb to realize that I say stupid things and you should do it anyway because you're a dumber. Right. <laughs> well, that didn't age too well I went and got the card two seconds later and I said here you go I got it anyway because I know how you are and like mm, okay <laughs> not too validating yeah and that evolved my stance on how to deal with narcissists during their birthday is you just have a nice empathetic middle ground with the narcissist. You don't have to kiss up to the narcissist on their special day, even after they were violating you verbally and your boundaries or who knows, maybe physically. You usually don't go that route. But yeah, through the whole year, they were miserable to, through you. They bullied you for the whole year. And then this day you're supposed to make believe none of that happened. And that's why the narcissists like it. But you don't have to be like that. You can be middle ground. And that's what I did. I told the narcissist, look, this is, you obviously don't, you, or I didn't say that, but in my head I did. In my head I was like, you obviously can't speak your own truth, so I'm going to speak it for you. And then I said, okay, so this is what I'm going to do for each and every birthday of yours here on out. I'm going to get you a card. Whether you say you want a card or not, whether you're able to read the card or not, you're in the hospital, I'm getting you a card on your birthday. And I might, no, I didn't, I didn't say I'd get you a present. I said, and I will take you out to dinner. It doesn't have to be that day, but within a couple of weeks previously or afterwards. And you have to have firm boundaries around that too, because they'll want you to, to, to well, take me for a birthday right now. It's only six months from my birthday. Might as well start celebrating now. No, don't, don't fall for that. Uh, and then and I said, that those are the two things that I'm going to do on your birthday. Irrelevant to anything else you ask for or anything else that happens. And surprisingly, the narcissist kind of liked that because it was set in stone that they would get a, they would get the validation that they crave regardless of what they said. Now, you might think, well, the narcissist isn't, aren't they trying to manipulate and that you're they're now not able to manipulate you on this? Yes, but the narcissists realize that they are difficult to get along with. They don't like themselves. They don't like the things that they say. They don't like the things that they do, but they feel compelled to do them. So when they say stupid things like, I don't want anything on my birthday, <laughs> they're not lying when they tell you on their birthday, I didn't mean that. That was just something stupid I said. You shouldn't have taken it so literally. Right? That's a put down, by the way. That's that's devaluing you. You shouldn't. You're too sensitive. That's in the you're too sensitive category. 
No, you should take it as fact. And since, and let them fail, you know, let them fall down and say, you know, I didn't mean that. You shouldn't be too sensitive. You should have done it anyway. You should have loved me enough. So BS, BS, BS. Okay, those are all put downs. Um, don't fall for the, any of that. Lay it down on what you want to give them and how you want to give it. And by the way, when you're getting a card for them, I mean, we might as well go into that territory a bit. Get them the card that you want to get for them early. Because if you wait till the week of, then you'll be pressured to get a card you don't want to get. That'll be too sappy and too validating for all the nonsense that the narcissist has uh, given you, put you through all the violations of boundaries and everything else that the narcissist has done to you. You shouldn't be validating too much of that. They might be your father. They might be your mother. Okay, they get a, they get a card. It's not too sappy because you looked for it early and maybe you'll take them out to dinner. That's a, that's a two-way street, right? You, you're eating, they're eating, everything's great, everything. You got that buttoned up in a well-defined boundary. Just spell it out to them. And you might do that a month before their birthday. You can remind them. Uh, you know, your birthday's coming up if you, it's about a month. So if you want to go someplace special within this month, absolutely, right? You can do that. And this stops us who are in narcissistic relationships from walking on eggshells before that birthday comes up not knowing how you're going to do it, not knowing what needs to be done, because now you're going to know how to do it. You've already laid it down and you laid out the boundaries for it well in advance, uh, probably a year prior, right? And then you follow up maybe six months and then you follow up again a month before and then they take it out to dinner and say, okay. And you can even spell that out and say, uh, okay, now we went to your birthday dinner afterwards. And then you already have the card. You already got the card. So if they PO you to death, if they are doing something crazy today and it's your day to give out a card or look for a card, you're not going to want to get the card, right? You're not going to want to tell them to go to you know where, <laughs> right? But you already bought the card and uh, with a level head and you know what you wanted to get. And so now you, you're set. Don't go overboard on it. Yeah. yeah. And the narcissist still in their head has this childhood birthday thing, birthday bash extravaganza. They want to soak in that validation for as long as they can. That's what the gaslighting is about. That's why they have relationships with uh, people so that they can, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's all about them and getting all this feedback back. And this is a day where they can really go to town on and they're going to want all that back. So they usually want everybody to gush favors upon them. And today is that day, birthday. So I'm just telling you, it's, it's, they have a real, really unrealistic birthday set up in their head. Like it's some kind of Hollywood party to beat all parties. It's not going to be it, right? And they're going to be disappointed afterwards because every year we get rid of, we lose more friends. We kick them to the curb, especially narcissists, right? They're, they're pissing off people left and right every year. So they, every year they have less friends. And as they get older, friends and relatives die off. So every year it's a little less. <laughs> you could have that conversation with them too. To, you know, so they're like, okay, it's, I'm okay, I'm not terrible just because every year it's less. It's because every year there are actually less. They, that's something they can reason through. If you can reason with them, some, some narcissists, you can't reason through them. The narcissist I had in my life, you could reason with them like that. And there is a narcissist that kind of dislikes birthdays as being too sweet, too childlike. And I think this comes from them feeling like the sweetness and love of it is not in their love language and it makes them feel vulnerable. And narcissists never, ever, ever want to feel vulnerable because they're living in a mental battlefield. They do not want to feel like they can be attacked at any time or that if they are attacked, 
that it will hurt because that's their childhood. That's how they became narcissists. They don't want to ever go back there. That's why they're narcissists now. That's why the walls are up. And then you come up here with this sappy birthday thing that's going to tug at their heartstrings and they will attack you for it. That, that Usually men do that. Malignant narcissists usually do that. Um, they will feel that that lovey-dovey stuff is opening them up and they don't want to be opened up. Now, how do you deal with that? I deal with it by talking above them or over them, as I've said in um, a couple of videos, I think there were shorts, that you just say what you have to say, regardless of what they say. You don't reply to what they say. <laughs> because what they say is going to be designed to get under your skin and make you reply to it. You ever see these politicians on TV, they come on TV, or lawyers especially, when they come on TV, the reporter, you know, asks a question and points the microphone to the, and they never answer the question. That's how you talk to a narcissist in this situation. If they're going to be abusive, and they may very well be abusive, especially if it's over the phone in a long distance. Narcissists always think everybody's out to get them. That's you, right? And you're like, who, me? I'm their child. Why would I be out to get them? Everybody's out to get them. That's why this is a problem. It's not normal. They are broken, and you have to treat them like that. Just talk over them. I, I did a short on it. I don't think I want to do it again. But you basically say what you have to say. You rehearse it beforehand, and you say, hello. They say, hey, what do you want? You say, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday on your special day. And they hurl back an insult like whatever. And it doesn't matter what it is because you're going to play the narcissistic rules today. You're going to be the happy narcissist today. <laughs> you're just going to, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. It only matters what you say. And you're going to say, I, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday on this special day. And uh, let's say whatever you want to say. I don't know what, what you want to say, but say it and say it in a tone that depicts what you want to say. Because that can get tricky too. If it's too flat tone, it'll seem a little hostile and they'll feel all the more reason to go off on your behind. And after you wish them happy birthday, they may still hurl insults at you. You're like, whatever, get out of my life, you bum. Happy birthday on your special day. Have a great day. Bye. Like you never even had a connection. <laughs> like you couldn't hear them from the other side. Now, what does that do? That will tell them what they'll hear is that, possibly, that you are actually wishing them happy birthday, but they didn't accept it. Now, they're going to feel shameful for that. There's a lot of shame in a narcissistic mind. Hold it. I have a problem with the cat. Okay, cat, lay over there. <laughs> Cats causing earthquakes. Um, so, yeah. They always hear that people are trying to attack them. And even when you're calling about a birthday, they think you're out to get them. And especially if it's a call, you don't know what went on before that call, what kind of arguments they had, what kind of aggravating news they were listening to about how the world is just falling apart and everything's terrible. And now you get a call from this, uh, from a, a relative that has lived down to your expectations and you should show them that, right? That, that's what's gonna be going through their mind. So, yeah, just talk over them as far as that's concerned. And you will get, even when it's face-to-face, because -face, that is a way of gray-rocking them. You're saying what you're going to say regardless of what they're doing or saying. And what they're doing and saying is usually things to get under your skin and get you to react to what they're doing and saying. That's validating for them. And you didn't do it. You just said what you had to say. You wished them happy birthday on the special day and you went around and you went about your business. That's as gray rock as it gets in a way. You didn't tell them anything about yourself. You didn't give away any information about how you feel about things, even though they were baiting you all along the way. Those insults are baits. You're supposed to defend yourself, right? If, but you don't have to. There's people that don't care. <laughs> people that don't care, right? Okay.
And another good tactic is just to let other people handle the birthdays for you. I mean, you've got Facebook and whatever. All, it's all electronic now. Um, yeah, it's really easy to just let other people do that for you. Uh, Facebook will remind you when it's people's birthdays. Heck, Facebook itself says happy birthday to you. I think Google does it too. And all these other things, all these machines and <laughs> robots by telling you happy birthday. It feels good for the narcissist and you could just use it as a way to tell the narcissist happy birthday. Now, it will never go well. <laughs> right? I wish a friend happy birthday um, a couple months ago, a few months ago. It was late as usual because <laughs> I'm always doing things. He was like, whatever. He didn't even mention it. Um, because he's just normal. That's just how we are. We forgive each other's foibles. We don't make them into bigger things and we don't harp on them and we don't personalize them and we don't exaggerate them and we don't get hyper critical where everything you do is deserves criticism. Even if it's a joke, that's still hypercritical. That's not right. That's not fair. And that's a narcissistic trait, even if they're not narcissists. And one last topic here. A lot of you have gone no contact on your narcissist. Congratulations. That's great. That's the best way you can do it, usually, if you can do it that way. Not everybody can, but if you can, that's great. But if it's your first year of no contact birthday, they're still going to be very, very upset and they're still going to attack you, even though you have spent every ounce of everything ex to let them know you are not going to be contacting them at all for anything in any way, shape or form. They're still going to be like, what? You didn't contact me on my birthday. They're still going to be like that. They're still going to attack you. They're still going to they still might use their flying monkeys to get around whatever walls you've erected to hurl insults at you or get you to change on this special narcissist day, right? The birthday. No matter what, you're not going to get it right anyway. So what does it matter? Lay down your rules. Do what you have to do on that day. Don't expect it to go well. Mark it on your calendar, the birthday. And for the narcissist, that's a troublesome day. So that is one of the better ways to make our lives better and trying to live our best lives, even if we are living with a narcissist. Thankfully, I have overcome that, man. I have gone through the mill on narcissists, so don't even get me started. <laughs> okay, people, we're living our best lives. That's the thing about narcissists and birthdays. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a best life, and I hope you do live your best life. Oh. And one more thing, I'm changing the name to the channel. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Done.